we're doing here is highlighting the essential role of choline in health. And the fact is that choline was called out in 1998 as an essential nutrient by the Institute of Medicine. But since that time, we've had very little attention to choline. The literature is replete, and this is a literature review, really, of the, the science behind the health benefits of choline relative to cognition, relative to liver health, and to heart health. And the data are abundant uh, for the last uh, two to three decades about choline's essential role in cognition, specifically the development of the hippocampus, the memory center of the neonate. And also, there's lots of evidence, too, that we have benefit from choline intake through the entire life cycle in terms of retaining memory and cognitive function. Uh, so the development of, of acetylcholine is it's critical to have adequate intake of choline. Acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter functions, again, in nerve uh, functioning, and uh, the role of that uh, neurotransmitter in cognition is, um, is, is essential. Also, we know that this is a nutrient, choline is a nutrient that can not only prevent fatty liver disease, but also reverse fatty liver disease. And uh, the data are, again, quite abundant in choline's role uh, in phosphatidylcholine, which is part of the healthy liver and healthy liver function. And, you know, with respect to obesity uh, being an issue, uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease being a, a, a part of the syndrome, uh, metabolic syndrome for obesity, the role of choline and choline deficiency in the diet today, uh, we think has a tremendous, um, tremendous aspect to protect liver health. And we're not talking enough about liver health, but we will be, I think, very shortly. Uh, the Canadian government, the UK government, and, um, uh, and the European uh, Union have all published reports on liver health in the recent uh, couple of years. I think we should be talking more about liver health and the essential role of choline. Then also in heart health, we know that choline has a role in lowering homocysteine uh, levels in the blood. And obviously lo lower homocysteine levels relate to less oxidative damage and less oxidative events uh, that can lead to plaque formation. So choline being an essential nutrient, having a critical role in cognition, liver health and heart health. Uh, we know that it can also uh, prevent neural tube defects in pregnant women at a stage where many women don't have enough choline intake and also don't know that they're pregnant. Uh, this is when neural tube defects occur. And the fact is we need to be eating choline more throughout our, life, throughout our life, not only in, in, in early pregnancy. The data from NHANES are very clear that over 90% of individuals don't have adequate intake for choline. Again, the IOM in 1998 uh, identified the adequate intake and we're, we're uh, typically consuming about half to two-thirds of the adequate intake. And uh, that is really not acceptable. We know what an essential role choline has in health and wellness. So we're trying to highlight the, the issue. This is a literature search. There's no original research here. But it is time that we start talking more about choline. It has been a topic that's been called out by the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee in 2010 as a shortfall nutrient, under-consumed nutrient, uh, with adverse health effects, but it did not make it into the policy recommendations for the Dietary Guidelines in 2010. Those comments, again, have been submitted to the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee for 2015. We hope that they are adopted as part of the Dietary Guidelines, but we'll soon see. So again, we want to highlight the role here uh, as an essential nutrient most overlooked.